because of my interest in and background in the sustainability world, I find industrial hemp to be one of the most amazing topics that I could ever get involved with. Uh, the fact that it, it uses less water, it can help improve the soil, it can be anything you can make out of plastic, you can make out of industrial hemp. It's a very nutritious food. There's so many industries that it has positive effects on that I just see the industry growing tremendously over the next decade. I believe it's definitely time for hemp to become legal at the federal level because up until the early 1900s it was one of the largest cash crops in the United States. Uh, a tax was put on at that point that really eliminated the ability for farmers to make any money but that was removed for two years during World War II when we grew as much as 40,000 acres of industrial hemp to help in the war effort for rope and sails and lots of different products like that. So we know we can do it and we have farmers who are ready to grow. Approximately 29 states have passed legislation that allows uh, farmers to grow hemp in their state. However, industrial hemp is not legal at the federal level. So as an association, we decided that one of the main priorities this year is to help pass the Industrial Hemp Farming Act, which will deschedule industrial hemp, remove it from the Controlled Substances Act, and allow uh, farmers to grow it in any state in the U.S. The largest obstacle right now is the lack of education. Most legislators still don't understand that industrial hemp is a crop and it's not marijuana. So we're having to spend a lot of time educating them as to the difference between the different crops. I'm standing at the Capitol here in downtown Denver, and this year there's going to be some uh, additional legislation proposed. One of the biggest uh, changes that's going to be that we're going to see is in allowing for the recycling and reuse of hemp and marijuana stalks and stems. Right now, it has to be destroyed and you know, thrown away into a landfill when the reality is there's a lot of components of that that are very, very beneficial and valuable if allowed to be reused. Part of the confusion right now is that marijuana is, is a, a drug because of the THC. Hemp is not a drug. It's a crop, but it has a lot of other uh, products in it that are really useful in a lot of different ways. So there is some, some dynamics right now where some of the extracts from hemp are being challenged by the marijuana community uh, that it should be under the control of the marijuana enforcement division. And that's something that the hemp industry doesn't feel is appropriate. I think what I'm most optimistic about here in Colorado is in 2014 we grew approximately 250 acres of industrial hemp. Last year we grew over 2,000 acres and this year we're on, on schedule to grow as much as 20,000 acres. So just seeing the amount of, of activity going on, the number of jobs being created, uh, the income that is being generated and the, the just seeing how excited all the people are that are involved in this really gives me hope for the future.